Oh, I can hear someone flying around me. There he is. Hello there. You've made a bad decision. All right, first one, bring it. Ooh. <laughs> Good afternoon, you wee bastards. Oh my God. Is this real? Is that a viper staring at me from that screen, from this American talk to your lineup? Guys, guys, you did it. Like, wow. 2010. 2010, the H1 project produced this vehicle. Oh my god. Like, Gaijin's done a lot of stupid shit recently, but... Can we all just take a moment to appreciate the glory of these new helicopters before we start complaining about imbalance? Oh, beautiful. Okay, moment of silence over. Start your rants. <laughs> Good afternoon, you wee bastard, and welcome back to another War Thunder video with Koala. Today, we're obviously on the dev server for update 1.81, The Valkyries. I finally got a chance to play around on the dev server. And today, we've got something... Oh, wait, let me backtrack a little bit. The one thing that's missing from... Oh, that's not really what I want to see. This is what happens when I don't have any clue of what I'm trying to say in this video, because it's a dev server, a dev server can close at any minute, especially in the last couple of days... I'm trying to do things quickly, so please bear with me. So, patch 1.81's live. You've finally unlocked your new helicopter from the research tree, and it comes in stock form. What are you going to do? Because clearly Gaijin has no fucking idea. This isn't like an aircraft that you want to use in tank battles. Let's take, for example, the Spitfire that I made a video on a few weeks ago. Before you have your bombs, admittedly the Spitfire is something you should fly out in ARB, it's fantastic there. But before you have your bombs or your ordnance unlocked and you want to fly it in ground battles, there's plenty you can do. You can just go around shooting tanks and you'll get some assists. You can shoot aircraft down, be anti-close air support until you've got the ordnance you want. With these helicopters, some of them come in stock form with dumb rockets only, in which you're at top tier with a vehicle that flies at 200 to 300 kilometers an hour. And some of them just come with a ball turret. That's it. So how are you going to get through the stock grind? Well, Gaijin has given us a helicopter PvP game. Similar to, if you guys know Gaijin's old title, Apache Air Assault, I believe that was the one. There's also Heliborn. Gaijin's given us something similar to that. It's a helicopter v helicopter game mode. There's AI tanks involved. There's capture points. Mainly the design of it is so that helicopters can go and battle each other. And then you can get your upgrades, you can you can play that game mode until you've got your ATGMs, and then you can take your helicopters into ground battles and stomp with them. Now this is going to be my first time trying out this game mode, but I know it's going to be good because I've played Apache Air Assault, so here we go, let's go. Helicopter RB. Wow, that was a quick match here, obviously everyone's playing this right now. Let's see how this plays as a game mode. Okay, ordnance built. That looks good. Alright, let's go. Oh. <laughs> uh, guys, just expect when the patch drops for me to spend the first, like, three weeks orgasming over these helicopters. Oh my god. Wow, small game. So this is the new map. This is a Vietnam-based map. It looks really cool, actually. I thought this was designed as an RRB map. So I guess Guidance is just taking a section of it and put some helicopter bases down. Here they are. Oh. <laughs> So, because this is a PvP game mode, I've taken out the miniguns and I've taken out dumbfire rockets. Now, of course, when you first get your stock helicopter, you've got even less ordnance option than this. But uh, this is a pretty good representation of a PvP setup for a helicopter. Before you've got your ATGMs, looks like we have plenty of ground targets there, so... Yeah, artillery, that's going to be easy to take out with the rockets. There we go. Oh, way off target. Oh wow, we got that one. I wasn't even aiming for that one. There we go, use the guns. Nice, get that one with the turret. And one of these. Ooh. Wow, these rockets are high damaging. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Missed that one. Okay, so where's the where's the enemy players? We're right near their bases now. That's it, over there. Where are they? Or oh, is that one over there? I see. So it might actually be worth, if you do have ATGMs, going for ground targets to grind. Of course... Oh. There we go. 
Now, these rewards are a lot higher than they would be in the regular game, but it looks like you can probably do a very substantial amount of grinding just with turrets and dumb rockets. Oh, I thought I could snag that one right there. Maybe this one. No, not quite. Oh, that was a sick maneuver right there. Oh, I love helicopters. I'm not so knowledgeable when it comes to them, but boy, do I love them. Okay, so it looks like we have... Is that PvP going on over there? No, that's AA. That's ground fire. That is some very damaging looking ground fire. We're going to stay away from that, I think. But yeah, this is going to be a fantastic way of grinding out. Now, funnily enough, I only saw mention of this game mode briefly in the patch notes. Is this going to be permanently available once the patch goes live? Once? Once the patch goes live? Is this going to be... Come on. Ah, uh, rockets, I'm, I'm sliding too much, I can't... Oh my god, that ground fire is... Oh, they're shilkers! Okay, let's see if we can get him with the guns. We're damaging him, but not enough. Let's get him with the rockets. Uh, not quite. The lead for these rockets is really, really weird. Because we have that little eye-shaped indicator, it looks like the selector for, like, a Word document. Uh, and it's apparently not that accurate. Okay, there we go. Hole break on a shortcut. I'm out of rockets now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I was wondering why they weren't opening fire on me for a second there. Oh, hello there. Where the hell did this hind come from? I never even saw him. <laughs> well, that was a failure of a PvP for first example, but we got a bunch of ground targets. Now, do we have respawns? No. Oh, really? I really thought we could respawn in this game mode. I thought it was three spawns. Okay, never mind. We'll, uh, we'll jump into another one. Okay, there were a bunch of ground targets. That was more our focus last time, so we're going to take out the missile armament. Oh, wow. So we still got the miniguns. Oh my god, look at these guys. Look at the Cobra going! Oh, that's so sick! Oh. Okay, let's... Guys, how do I do that hover? thing. There's like a keybind where I can just set the helicopter to hover, isn't there? I haven't taken the time to set it up. I don't even know how you do it. How is everyone else doing it? I'm going to need to know that for when the game goes live. I haven't taken the time. Okay, there's stabilized. Let's launch one. Oh, wow, that's looking really stable. Wow, I've always... I've been seeing this in a couple of videos recently. You guys aren't going to believe me now. <laughs> 80 GMs in the current game, when I launch them, especially from, like, from tanks, they're really spastic. They, they go all over the place. These are really, really stable. That excites the hell out of me. It means I can actually use these helicopters. But yeah, I haven't taken the time out to set up my controls properly. Like I said, I'm doing everything really quickly right now. Just so I can... Oh, that was... That looked like it should have hit. Oh, a little bit too close to these right now. So this is when you need it. Ah, see, I screwed that one up. This is when you need to know how to, to press that hover button. Okay, we're real close to the battlefield. Oh, God, the Shulkers are opening up on us. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That, oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what was going on with that maneuver right there. But yeah, so apparently ATGMs aren't uh, going to be a problem with high ping anymore because I've still got massive ping, and these missiles are really... Okay, let's recover that. Jesus Christ, let's... Wow, we got... A lot lower than I thought we would then. Okay, let's see if we can get some of these anti-airs. There's the Shilkers. Launch. So nice and stable on him. See, if I fired an ETGM from like an MBT-70 with this level of ping... It would just spaz out completely randomly and then go into the ground two feet in front of me, which is... Completely ruins tanks that have ATGMs. Okay, that's more the maneuver I was trying to pull earlier. We survived a lot of ground fire just then. At least we didn't spaz out this time. Oh my god, look how sick this thing is. Dodging the ground fire. Firing off missiles. This game mode is so cool right here. I don't even think I'm going to take helicopters into ground battles all that much. This is just too much fun right here. No, I, w I will. I'll take them into ground battles all the time. But at least we can fire... Whoa. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how to hover. I'm doing this manually, like you can see right now. I'm trying to get the pitch 
About right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Taking a lot of fire right now. But yeah, I'm trying to do things manually. You can still fire very accurately, so... Someone let me know what, like, how to set up the controls for helicopters so that I can hover perfectly level, because I don't know how to do it. And by the time I've worked out how to do it and gone and messed around with all the controls, I won't have enough time to gather all the footage I want from the day server, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll work that out before the game goes live, don't worry. Okay, this should be better. We're a lot further away from the Shulkers right now, so there's no chance they're going to be firing at us. Admittedly, they are AIs, so just remember that. You know, real players and Shulkers are going to be a lot more accurate. And they're still not going to be firing these kind of distances. What is that, six kilometers? Four. That's still a, a fair old distance. Oh, look, I can see these guys perfectly. Level. ATGM will go for this one down in the dip. Can I zoom in more? It's still on target. God, it's so easy with the stabilized mode. Oh god, we're in the clouds right now. Still tracking. Go down a bit. I couldn't even see that guy. That was such a long shot. Oh my god. Wait, I think that guy's dead. We'll go for this one behind him. Okay, that's further away than I thought. And that's Scratch 2. Another one? Okay, we're getting a bit closer now. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Okay, it's RTB for... What the hell is going on right there? What's going on? God, you don't want to screw up there, and that is a very expensive mistake. Oh, look at this right here. Just heading over the road, over the jungle, this convoy heading off to the battle. Oh, God. Someone please fly to the Valkyries right now. Even though this isn't a Huey. I don't even care. All right, we're coming in. Oh, let's try and pitch. See, this is where I need hover mode. That's better. Okay, now. Now we're about level. Wow, we're gaining speed a bit fast. Okay, and down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> God damn my depth perception. I had no idea how far away the ground was. That's something you got to learn. These, these helipads are a bit bigger than you expect them to be. They're a bit further away. I thought we were just about to touch down and we were still like six meters up. So that's... Oh, well, we're still repairing. We didn't even gain any repair time for that. So that's interesting. I wonder if you'll be able to do that when the game goes live. If you'll be able to repair a helicopter this heavily damaged. That's a little bit more than a hole in your left wing, I've got to say. And we're back up. Now we get to take off. Wow. Just straight up. Okay. That was really easy. There we go. So I believe these helicopters are on the uh, five times reward multiplier that is on most vehicles on the dev server. So keep that in mind when you see the, the RP numbers flashing up. But if this is a game mode to be part of War Thunder permanently when the patch goes live, like this will be a mode you can select and just play at any time, not like an event, then this is going to be fantastic for grinding helicopters. I thought there were capture points in this game mode though. Like, aren't there meant to be cap circles that we can land on? Oh, there's an enemy helicopter. Let's see if we can go in for him. I didn't even realise, but... Whoa, that's the Shilkers. I didn't even realise, but I thought they were meant to be cap circles. The helicopters could capture. That would be fantastic. That would really complete this game mode, actually. So, yeah, I really hope this is designed to be a permanent game mode. It might be. It might not be. There's that guy. Look at him. We're going to go for the Shilkers, because I can't even think about approaching right now. Oh, I didn't mean to press that button. <laughs> the controls are really weird. Just because I haven't taken the time to set them up. Okay, there we go. And you. Nope. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, that's a tank, actually. That's a T-54. Got his track. But yeah, if this isn't supposed to be a permanent game mode, I do apologize for getting everyone's hopes up. I really hope it is. I really hope Gaijin lets us play this all the time, because without it, I don't know how you're going to get through the stock grind for helicopters. But yeah, Gaijin, cap circles. And not like they are in tanks, where it's like, one's right near your spawn, and one's right near the enemy spawn, and one's in the middle. No, give us like, give us like eight, just scattered randomly about the map. Not linearly like we have in tank battles. Give it, give us randomly... Okay, there goes one tank. And track fuel tank. Is he on fire? I don't think he is. There's this guy on the ground right here. Maybe we can go and rescue him. H1G. 
Let's descend slowly. Okay, we're going a little bit too fast right now. Forwards. Don't worry, dude. We're coming. Okay, a little bit forward. Don't want to get too close to him, though. Oh, no! I'm, I'm sure that was because we, we rescued the, the Marines that were in that helicopter. They just scuttled the, their helicopter. We rescued them. We're back to base right now. Got, uh... No, the Cobra... The Viper doesn't have any room. <laughs> if this was a Huey, we'd have, like, Marines hanging onto the outside of the helicopter or, or sitting in the, the cargo part of the helicopter right now. We're ferrying them back to base. Rescue operation successful. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that scared the crap out of you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. So, I've seen a couple of enemy helicopters flying around. They've gotten to almost within shooting range. There we go. See, he's just about in shooting range before I can get a marker for him. Okay, got a good few hits on there. Jesus Christ. I don't know why we survived so much of the fire from those shulkers. Come on. So oh, come on. So many hits. Hey, there we go. First helicopter PvP kill. Oh, we're, what, 25 minutes into the video. <laughs> yeah, I think the markers need to show up from a little bit further away. Maybe two kilometers. I think that would be fine. I think that's how it should work. That and capture points would just absolutely complete this game mode. And yeah, if this isn't planned to be a permanent game mode, it should be. Gaijin, take note. Please. Okay, there's another enemy helicopter flying around over there. Maybe we can go in for him. I just want to take care of some of these shulkers first so that we don't get chewed to bits the second we go and try and approach. Oh, I can hear someone flying around me. There he is. Hello there. You've made a bad decision. All right, first one, bring it. Ooh. <laughs> yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh, that's fun. That is so much fun. Jeez, we are a little bit chewed up. We're going to go back to base right now, repair, rearm. God, this is a really big match. Our helicopter is struggling a bit. It's still controlling very well. It's not like an aircraft where you take damage to a wing and you struggle to fly. This is... This is fine right here. Careful, careful. Not too fast. We made that mistake last time. Okay. We're going to be patient with this. We're going to do it properly. God, I am the definition of skillless when it comes to flying helicopters. I'll get better at this, guys. Don't worry. Okay, there we go. That was nice. A little bit of a skid landing there, but that's fine. That engine off. Alright, that was a few grind targets down just there. There's somebody. Does he not realize I'm here? He won't have the marker for me yet. See, this is the problem. There we go. Finally got a marker. Open fire. Try and get those miniguns on target because we don't have a turret for them. Got some good hits, though. Oh, a bunch right there. Nah, no sauce. He might be going down, actually. See, I don't know the damage model of these helicopters, either. Yes, this UH-1's going in for him. Nice one, Huey. Well done. Okay, back into the fray. Alright, well, there's just one guy left, and he's got zero points, so he's obviously just been flying around. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why you got to come onto the dev server and ruin people's fun like that by playing passively and running and hiding. He's done nothing the whole match. He's literally not done a thing. We're going to go and see if we can try and land on this mountaintop right here. The only problem I see with this game mode is that it's too difficult to find people to attack, and that's so easily fixed by increasing the spawning distance. That and capture points, and this would be a fantastic game mode. Like, easily competing with, with Apache Air Assault, which is a little bit more arcadey, but still the same style of game. Anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come follow me at all the links in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on this game mode. Uh, please tell me how I set up the control bind so that I can hover, because I don't know how to do that yet, and I haven't played around with the settings. Oh, that is so cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, always remember, keep your bagpipes to hand, your kilt on. Oh, the things come out! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I'll see you next video, guys. <laughs>